Hey guys, so this is my 30th Street Crafts haul from her Halloween restock, which was about a week ago. I have not smelled anything yet, so I thought I would just do, I thought I would just jump right into it and see what I thought of the smells right off the get-go. So she put this cute little bag, and inside she's got this card that says, Hello Hot Stuff. Thanks a latte, which is totally cute. And it just says, have fun melting. There's our info. And then she did a little fallish theme for our cards, which is really cute. There are some samples. Ooh, winter linen. That sounds right up my alley. And frosty windows and then she also included these cute little <laughs> that is funny gummy body parts candy and looks like I got a severed foot or he's got something grungy on his foot and then some classic candy corn which I have not had in a really long time so let's just have a sniff of these samples Oh yeah, winter linen. That's like almost smells like Egyptian cotton to me. You know, it's not like the clean cotton, but it's a little different. I don't know if you've ever smelled Egyptian cotton before, but it's pretty good. Frosty windows, which is definitely definitely has peppermint. Not a big fan of peppermint, but that one actually might be okay for me. Okay, so let's start with a chunk here. This is Tombstones, which is fig, blackberry pie, dried octopus hearts, and brown sugar. This is going to be crinkly because I did not have time to pre-prepare here. So look at how pretty that is. Gorgeous. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I smell blackberry for sure. It's a nice scent, but I'm not picking up the fig or brown sugar right off the bat. It's a nice scent. Um, when I have warmed her stuff previously, it is a good, strong throw. So... Okay, it is a good strong throw. I really like the strength of her wax and so far I, I think most of her wax is a little bit different than everybody else's because you can't just go to her website and get like, I don't know, vanilla ice cream scoop dough bread. You know, she tries to do pairings of things that sound good together rather than just your average, you know. What was something that I just got, like apple cider lane or, you know, creamy zucchini, that kind of stuff. She does like her own kind of blends. Okay, so Salem Nights, which is this really pretty piece of wax. And this smells like a men's cologne to me. So it has ozone, fresh air, goblin breath, which is cute, musk, blue sugar type, sugary vanilla with exotic woody notes. And yeah, I've, you know what? I don't think I've ever tried anything blue sugar. This is a nice fresh scent. I really like this. I like to add in like men's cologne type touch to it. I'm just going to leave that out. I don't want to be too crinkly. Okay, so for a cupcake tart. Okay, where do you open at? This one is Amber Romance Type, which I think I've smelled at Victoria's Secret before. This one's called Fire Burn. Amber Romance, Fresh Cotton, Ozone, Cashmere, Musk, and Rotten Flesh. Ooh, okay, that's a pretty floral. Yeah, that's really pretty. You definitely smell the, like the clean cotton. Dang it, I wish I knew what Amber Romance smelled like because I would be able to tell you better if I could smell that in there. So 
This one is super pretty. This is Cauldron Bubble. Carrot cake, severed earlobes, cream cheese frosting, and marshmallow. Ooh. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, this is a good bakery. I love, 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 love bakery. Yeah, that's nice. Good bakery. I'm hoping she does like a another favorites restocker that we can get a hold of these again before Halloween is over because I would definitely get another one of that. Okay, another chunk here in Wing of Bat, Black Raspberry, Spider Legs, Vanilla, and Rice Krispie Treats. Hoping this will be another good bakery. I'm having a hard time finding the opening on these. What is going on? smells like black raspberry to me. I do like black raspberry vanilla type scents. And maybe the Rice Krispie Treats will come out a little bit more when it's warmed. Okay. Next we have Witch Bait, which is caramel apples coated with chopped peanuts and black, black cat's tails. I was a little frightened of this one because of the chopped peanuts. Like, I like caramel apple, but... Okay, yeah, that's just the perfect caramel apple. I don't smell peanuts, so that's good. Yeah, that is really good. That's a nice caramel apple. Glad I got some of that. Candy corn, which is buttery vanilla candy with entrails. Okay, good bakery too on this one. Definitely smells like candy corn. Yeah, this one's nice. I'm so glad to have gotten these before Halloween. I hope to do the majority of my Halloween decorating this weekend. This is Vampire Nibbles. Deep orange, fresh blood, peach, apricot, and blackberries. This one, I think I like deep orange, but I wasn't 100% sure. Okay, um, that one's cute on top. This is a nice, yeah, you can smell the peach. I can definitely smell peach and I can smell the deep orange. Definitely more of a fruity type scent. Winifred Sanderson, which is toasted marshmallow brains, crisp leaves, pine, and berries. I took a chance on this one because I don't really like pine or leaves. So, of course, it's beautiful. Hmm, okay, let's see. This one definitely smells like fall. Get a little bit of pine. It smells kind of like that uh, Bath and Body Works leaves is in there. Yeah, I don't know if I can handle the pine. It's, I mean, it's not like super dominant, but it's there. Okay, next up we have Eastwick. Eastwick. Vanilla champagne, pecans, mummy wrappings, pralines, caramel sauce. So hopefully this will be another good bakery. Okay, I like this one. Um, she like really went crazy with the glitter. <laughs> she, I mean, like there is like glitter fest everywhere. You definitely okay. So you get the fizzy, uh, effervescent note. And strangely, that's all I really smell. I'm not really picking up on the pecans, pralines, caramel. Maybe a little bit. It's mostly effervescence. Not like 7-Up. 
not like a 7-Up type thing, but... Sorry to do cauldron. Okay, so I think that was everything. Yeah, did I get everything? I was kind of, uh, it was hard to order this time. Usually she does like a video, but I think she was kind of busy, so she didn't have time to do it. But usually she'll do a video where she'll like sniff them and tell you what the dominant note is. So there was a few others that I was kind of looking at, but I just didn't know and I didn't really want to take a chance because on the last couple of restocks, I just ordered like one of everything, no matter what it was. And that's not always the best idea for me. So I kind of try to pick what I know I will like, like 80% sure that I'm going to like it. If that make, does that make any sense? I don't know. But um, yeah. So some of these are really, really good. Some of them just are not my scent. But like I said, her wax throws really well. And it's super strong, especially in like my living room area, which is hard to get a throw in there. So if something throws good in there, then I'm probably going to be, you know, pretty excited about it. So anyways, this is just my little tiny haul. Thank you for the fun Halloween restock, Jessica. This was super fun. I love your little your designs, your glitter, just everything. So anyways, I hope to be back with some warm reviews on some of these and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye.